York Stock Exchange, the epicenter for all things elite. It's no secret everyone in finance loves caviar, and what are the odds? We have him right here. Where did you get your name from? Well, that's the that's interesting part. Well, my mom initially, actually, she didn't want to name me after my father, and his name is Kevin. So my sister being named Champagne, she was like, okay, I'm going to name you Caviar. Obviously, I didn't know that I was still in the stomach, so it was kind of came out of a little bit of spite in a sense, but so that's basically where it came from, honestly. Like my dad being named Kevin, she didn't want to name me Kevin, and my sister named Champagne, Caviar and Champagne. Well, you certainly have the looks to match the name Caviar. Uh, okay. <laughs> you actually, uh, you actually left college to pursue a career in modeling. Yeah. How did you go from model to photographer? Well, that actually kind of happened naturally in a sense. I had a lot of friends that was around me that were models, and I was, I took a liking to the. Obviously, they were beautiful. So, me having a camera, I kind of had this epiphany in a sense to like start doing photography, and it kind of just came naturally. I had. You know, models at my disposal. I had stylists and all that stuff. So I kind of just started game planning. And then from there, I, I actually just jumped into it. And then I started submitting for magazines and stuff like that. I was like, okay, I can make money. So then I started my LLC. And I've been doing photography for like the last 10 years now. And you're also an artist. For those that want to invest in art alongside stocks, where they can where can they see your work? Uh, well, I have my work on, obviously, on Instagram. Um, I do local shows, pop-up shows, galleries also at, at this point, um, but I'm just like continuing to put it everywhere. Um, I think there's no one one way to market your work as an artist, so I try to be on every platform from Fine Art, America, just, you know, just to push it out there. Right now you work as the Director of Photography for Black Pyramid. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Well, that's actually Chris Brown brand, um, which is one of the biggest pop stars right now we have in our culture. And um, it's kind of honor in a sense to be able to have that creative control to, you know, push other, to give other artists platforms also. That's because Black Pyramid has that ability to give other artists that platform. We have like just reached a million followers and I've been able to help the team, you know, drive over 500,000 500, followers over the last seven months. And from the imagery that I've been producing, the conceptual ideas and just to give the marketing team a strategy to actually push the, the brand. You've also done an art installation at Saks Fifth Avenue. How did that come about? Wow, that was that was very interesting. Um, it actually originally started from, I would say, I have a really good dear friend named Jeremy Penn and he has a collective called Good Luck Dry Cleaners and he actually hit me up. He was like, um, I'll come to the studio and and paint and I was like at that point I really didn't want to actually you know take my paint to another location so I was kind of blowing them off in a sense because I was like I'm already painting so he's, he kind of kept pushing me so I went and it was this big big venue and just empty and he was like here's your paint it was these big panels and it was kind of like I walked into a no man's land and it was paint there so I started painting didn't know anything about the sax and anything so the sax people came and they saw it and they loved it so they put me in the show they did like a capsule around the the art that I did the installation it was unreal it was that's, just that's incredible I'm sure that drew a lot of sales people describe you as a multimedia artist what does that mean well that's because I make music I make uh, photography I do um, and also do uh, painting so it's kind of but at the same time I hold a lot of responsibility and from just the behind the scene work you know I do a lot of logo design I do a lot of graphics and stuff like that so it's not just one specific art that I'm focused on it can come in through work or it can just come from my creative expression music is there similar are there similarities between your music and artwork yeah I would say because it's very abstract in a sense you know I love um, just experimenting so I kind of have that same effect actually with you know with my music I don't really hold it in a box so I'm able to like push it a little further you know because it's it's kind of scary sometimes because it's words versus painting which is you know what your eyes see versus what you hear so it's it's interesting and you've been featured in a few ad campaigns as a model what brands have you worked with uh, I didn't work with Macy's I don't work with Puma uh, foot action good 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 did magazines for 
GQ, um, uh, Glamour. So I didn't did a little bit of everything with modeling. Um, just kind of, I didn't been in a Lil Wayne video. And that was like one of my first projects as a model. I was, I was like 17 years old and I was scouted randomly to, to start modeling. And my first project was a Lil Wayne video. That's awesome. And how about as a photographer? What brands have you worked with as a photographer? I don't work with uh, Puma. I don't work with uh, Complex. I didn't work with a nice brand called uh, Wyeth. It's a like they actually took my image and blew it up like 50 feet, like around New York, and it was just like unreal to go around and see your work being painted as a mural. Like it kind of brought things more to reality with with my photography in a sense to see how the commercial side of it can, you know, enhance it in a sense, you know. Starstruck by your own work. I, I can't imagine seeing that. Sometimes it's, you know, it just happens like that. You know, you, you don't, I don't put myself in a box. So the, the expectation is not so much there. It's more of a magical approach in the sense of how I, how things get presented or out to people. So Caviar, if you can give a businessman on Wall Street one fashion tip, what would it be? I would say wear a nice tie and know how to tie a tie. That's very important. Yeah, I think that works. I think that works. And how can we check you out on social media? Uh, at Caviar Art. And that's it. That's it. Thanks for the tip, Thank Caviar. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.